yeah, then, then it takes time for them to recover. Amen. But if you have it in your Bible, read it, but I will read it from here and listen to what I am reading. Verse 23. 23. But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Let's read 24 together. Go. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. 25. Go. He who loves his life will lose it and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. 26. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him will my father honor. 27. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this purpose I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Don't save me, Lord. Glorify your name. Now, this whole passage here is a thought that has got stages and levels. The, the, the beginning of the thought, the hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. So Jesus is applying this verse to himself. And he explains it. So everything that he is saying from 24 begins to develop a double barrel. Mm, it, be, it becomes a double barrel. Yeah, I think you said it right the first time. Amen. So Jesus was also repeating what he was saying from verse 23 in different ways. Because in verse 24 he says, Unless a what? Grain of wheat. He is not saying unless a seed. Even though a grain of wheat is seed. Even though a grain of wheat is a seed. He says a grain of wheat deliberately. You see, this is how you must read the Bible. Why is, you know, why is he using these words? What's, what's the significance of him using this word? Why not a seed? Why does he say grain of wheat? He says, unless it falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. Now, where he says, unless it dies, there are some languages that actually have the sense or the the, the mind or the, the, yeah, the sense, in a sense, the, the way to look at what he meant when it says it dies. Some languages mean unless it multiplies. Meaning that Jesus was saying, I am like a grain of wheat. I need to multiply for me to multiply in other words yeah, to, uh, for me to produce many of me I must first die right there you have got to see a principle 
Because when he said, I say to you, unless a seed of wheat uh, falls into the ground, dies, it remains alone. When he said that, he did not say, I am like a seed of, of, of grain. Or, or, of, yeah. yeah, he did not say, I am like a grain of seed, or, of wheat. But we know that he, he, he meant himself because we know he was going to die. But by extension, because this is how I sometimes wanted to approach the sayings of Christ. Many times the Lord will say, Something. No, many times he will say, Yeah, when you read what he said, he will mention something within that time, in that context. But many times, he's not just mentioning it for that context alone. He is setting a principle. So when he says, unless a, a, a grain of wheat is, uh, 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 falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it will multi, it produces much grain. He was not talking to himself only. He was talking to us too. Amen. That if you are going to multiply, you must die. If you are going to become fruitful, you must be willing to die. I hope I will have just enough time to also remind you of, about this die. Because Jesus is saying, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. He didn't say for the Son of Man to die. He said for the Son of Man to be glorified. He looked at the end that if you are going to be glorified, you must first die. Amen. You know what it means? It means dying leads to glory. What is to be glorified? Maybe you can, we, you, you should look at that. What is to be glorified? To be glorified is to become acknowledged. To become acknowledged. Uh, is there anything clearer than that? You understand? It's to be acknowledged. To be glorified. It means uh, actually to be positively acknowledged. Okay. It's to be recognized. Mm, I think Lemuchua comes there. To be recognized. Mm, it also means that. Do you understand? When you, we are looking at the other side of the coin. If dying means I will be acknowledged. I will be recognized. To be glorified, it means it's to be established. Teamed for your character, for your nature, and for your attributes. To be held in high esteem because of your character. That is what to be glorified means. But to get there, <laughs> you must die first. To get there, 
You must die first. Let's look at the, uh, the opposite or negative side. It means if you are not willing to die, forget about being glorified. Yeah, forget about being acknowledged positively. Somebody say, this is how God works. So, why does Jesus use the grain of wheat? Why did he not say the grain of barley? Why a grain of wheat specifically? Because wheat was the grain used. It was the grain used to produce superior bread. You see, barley was mostly used for animals and it was used by the poor. But wheat was the, the, the main grain to make the main bread of Israel. So it, it speaks to quality. It speaks to quality. There are two things you can do with grain. You can eat it or you can sow it. But wise farmers will always sow the best grain. Let me talk to young people. Young people, give God the best days of your life. Yeah. Give him the best days of your life. Last week, I told you. No, I was not telling you. I was telling the people who came to receive the Lord. I said, I received Christ as an 18-year-old boy. And I don't regret it to this day. If you are still young, if you are still young, I am giving you an advice like a father. Hey, it's been good to have you today, and I'm sure the Lord has spoken to you. Well, let's meet again next week. Remember, 9 o'clock, we have our service in the building. 9.30, we go live. So I would like you to help me. Just like, share, subscribe, and let's get the gospel to go viral. We want Jesus Christ to really be Lord. Until next time, from me 